You are watching Morning Breeze Escape. This is your time to reflect, refresh, reconnect, revive, and restore. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Press the notification bell to be advised when the next new video is coming. Good morning, and thank you for joining me. My name is Dr. Natalie E. Sharp, and you are tuning into another Morning Breeze devotional. Thank you so much for seeing the importance of spending some quality time in the presence of God. I would just like to ask you to do one thing for me today. Please remember to like and to subscribe to the Morning Breeze TV. Be sure to press the notification bell so that you can know when we are posting our new videos. Our scripture for today is Proverbs 5, verse 15 to 23, and it reads, Drink water from your own cistern, flowing water from your own well. Should your springs be scattered abroad, streams of water in the streets? Let them be for yourself alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth. A lovely deer, a graceful doe, let her breasts fill you at all times with delight. Be intoxicated always in her love. Why should you be intoxicated, my son, with the forbidden woman and embrace the bosom of a one adulteress? For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. The iniquities of the wicked ensnare him, and he is held fast in the cords of his sin. If he dies for lack of discipline, and because of his great folly, he is led astray. I've been on a very interesting journey this year. As of late, life has taken several different unexpected turns. Some of these moments have brought tears and disappointment, while others have brought exceeding joy and gratitude. My conclusion after all of this is that if we keep on seeking for God in the details of every single situation we have in life, we will embark upon the beauty of His masterpiece. We will find out how undeniably awesome He is, and we will no longer spend a lifetime worrying and fretting about circumstances. In every situation we endure in this life, we ought to stop for a moment and observe the fingerprints of God. Ask these questions. What did I learn from this life experience? What was God trying to show me about this matter? How has this situation or circumstance changed me or those around me? We want levels and phases and seasons to end and begin so quickly that we often forget to challenge ourselves with the real knowledge and understanding of why God would see it fit to orchestrate our lives in this particular way. Many times, the fingerprints of God will trace back to cross points of disaster. These are moments in your life where, if you were left to your own judgment or devices, you would have made the wrong turn at the fork of the road of life. So God, in His mercy, steered you to a different path. Yes, the road was hard and the path was challenging, but you made it safely. What you can't see are the cliff points in life that may look like an easy road to travel, but actually lead to a dead end. So I thank God for everything, and I seek daily for His will, relinquishing my desires and conforming it to Christ so that the things my heart longs for are exactly what He's working on. Isn't our God awesome? I speak peace over your life today. And I evoke hope to live again in your heart because above all, God loves you. Enjoy your breakfast. Let us pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, you never give us more than we can bear. That is why even though we must have challenges in our lives because it is a part of the process, we can have the confidence in knowing that you will help us overcome them. Like when you led the children of Israel out of the bondage of slavery and guided them to the promised land for reassurance and confidence. The enemy desires to trick us into thinking that you have abandoned us in this life's journey and tries to make it seem like reaching our goals and ultimately our destinations is impossible. But Father God, we praise you. We praise you, mighty God, because even what may be impossible for man is possible with you. So we need not worry, hallelujah. We need not be anxious or fret about life circumstances, but to remember to lean not on our own understanding and in all our ways acknowledge you, Father, for you are the one who directs our path. Father, help us to apply wisdom in every challenge that we face, every challenging situation, especially when we want to take actions from the position of selfishness and carnality. Father, we put self aside today. We know that if we place our most concerning issues in your hands, then Lord, we will be as your word declares, overcomers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So Father, we present our challenges today at your feet. And we ask you to take full control of our lives so that we might see the glory of God manifested each day. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you so much for tuning today to the Morning Breeze devotional. If you enjoyed this devotional, I encourage you to get your copy of the Morning Breeze Restoration book. It is a 50-day devotional guide with seven impactful prayers that will transform your life and you can get your copy on Amazon. Also, you can go to my website www.drnatalysharp.com and get your copy of the Morning Breeze Restoration today. You can be restored. Have a beautiful day, a prosperously blessed day in God. Hallelujah. Bye. Coming in a little bit closer. My name is Dr. Natalie Eshart, and I want to let you know something exciting today. Today is the release of my book, Morning Breeze Restoration. It's 50 days devotional guide and seven impactful prayers. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story. A few years back, I went through one of the darkest points in my life, and God literally took me through a process of restoration. Today, I can truly say that I am restored. And I want to take everything that I have learned, everything that the Holy Spirit has deposited into me, and give it to you in this book, Morning Breeze Restoration. Some of you have already heard the stories. Some of you have already participated in the messages. And you have uh, let me know how much the messages has transformed your life. Well, today is your chance to get your copy. Go to DrNatalieSharp.com purchase it today.